is good morning to everyone listening to this tiny podcast. My name is Madanu Bala Anthony Nadisu. I am from class six A from our esteemed Saint Patrick's High School, Sikandrabad. Today, I am going to be talking about some rocket science. To be more specific, satellites, rockets, orbits, and Lagrange points. I have recently seen the Aditya L1 launch, and prior to that, the Chandrayaan 3 launch from Sri Hari Kota. Firstly, I would like to give a huge shout out to. Isro and Chandrayaan 3 team for the grand success. Let me dive right into the topic. What are orbits and why do we need them? We all know that cars consume fuel like petrol or diesel to travel. When the cars are parked and the engine is off, they do not consume any fuel. And generally Cars are parked at home or in some parking areas away from home. Very similar to that, rockets or spaceships consume fuel only during the flight. The rockets or spaceships do not consume fuel when they are parked and when the engine is off. And spaceships can be parked. either on ground or in orbits so the first thing for us to understand is that the spaceships can be parked in orbits or at lagrange points and they can stay there forever many years and they do not consume fuel when parked in these areas let us understand what a rocket is and what a satellite is satellite is the payload of a rocket just like our parents drop us at school a rocket drops the satellite in its orbit rockets are also called as launch vehicles just like a car takes humans from place a to place b rockets take satellites from ground level to orbit level satellites are packed inside the rockets for example assume this as the satellite and this as the rocket the satellite is put inside the rocket and then the rocket is fired so the payload goes along with the rocket and is put on the orbit now here's a picture of the aditya l1 mission in which aditya l1 itself is as the payload in the top portion of the rocket and this bottom portion is called the pslv rocket you might think what is pslv PSLV stands for Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Now the job of this PSLV is to drop Aditya L1 the payload in the orbit and the PSLV rocket will drop in the bay of Bengal. So what types of rockets does india currently have india has three types of rockets currently the pslv the gslv mark 2 and the gslv mark 3 here some extra information for you aditya l1 was fired in a pslv rocket and chandrayaan 3 was fired in a gslv mark 3 rocket now let's learn more about orbits 
there are many types of orbits small and circular orbits large and elliptical orbits circular orbits of different sizes elliptical orbits of different eccentricities let's talk about polar orbits let's assume this to be the earth this is the north pole and this is the south pole an orbit running through these two poles is called a polar orbit PSLVs typically launch satellites into the polar orbit other types of orbits go around the equator at this distance or much farther i would like to bring our attention back to aditya l1 aditya l1 is not going to a polar orbit but it is going to a lagrange point that's why it's named aditya l1 lagrange point 1 what are lagrange points lagrange points are not orbits however they are special points where spaceships can be parked they were discovered by a physicist named lagrange there are five lagrange points l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 telescopes and other scientific equipment can be parked in these areas aditya l1 which was launched on september 2nd from sriharikota is on its way to lagrangian point 1 even as we speak it will take 4 months for aditya l1 to reach lagrangian point 1 and it will stay there for 5 years guys if this sounds like too much jargon for you please see this video again i hope to see one of us in this row in the future if this sounds complex to you that is because this is indeed rocket science thank you for listening to this podcast ciao